Hi, in this video I wanted to show you how you can save your paragraph styles in a Microsoft 365 Word document so that every time you open a new document you can find and apply those heading styles to your paper. Now I have here in front of me a long document that I want to format in APA style for this video, so APA 7th. And I've created some headings here that we can stylize together and save in uh, our Paragraph Styles dialog box, just as an example. Now APA 7 says that my first heading, or heading level 1, should be centered, bold, and in title case. Well, it's already in title case, so let's just um, center and bold it. So what you could do is highlight your text here and bold it and go up to your paragraph tab and center a line by selecting this middle uh, selection here. Um, to have it reflect what you've are, the changes that you've already made, you can just select update heading 1 to match selection. Okay, all right, good. Now let's go down to the next level. Um, here's heading level 2, and in this case it says APA 7 says heading level 2 should be flush, left bold, title case heading. So let's do that. I'm going to select it and bold it. It's already left aligned and it's in title case have uh, it's in title case already. So let's save this as a heading level two now. Okay, um, just drop open your menu here and you can modify this by uh, selecting update heading two to match selection. Good. Now if I expand this you can see that my heading styles are changed here in the window. Okay, and both uh, heading level 1 and heading level 2, the uh, text underneath starts as its own paragraph text and it's indented. So I'm going to indent this one. It should be, you know, just a typical 0.5 indentation like a regular paragraph. Okay, now heading level 3 should be flush left, bold italic, title casing. So let's just create that heading, highlight it. <coughs> Go up to your font panel, select italic, and bold. Okay, good. Now uh, you can go to your paragraph styles, select this heading 3 style here, right click it, and select update heading to match selection. Good. Okay. Very good. Now let's see if we have a heading level 4. Here we go down here. And in APA it says indented bold title case heading ending with a period and then text begins on the same line and continues as a regular paragraph. Now I already know that you can't apply two styles in one line so what I'm going to do is just apply it to my uh, header as it is and then I'll bring this line up onto that, that this line of text onto that same line. So let's just create the, uh, the fourth heading level here. I'm going to bold it and it's uh, indented bold title case heading ending with a period. We've got your period there. Let's indent it. Um, just hit a tab button on your keyboard and good enough. Okay, now name this as your heading level 4. You can modify this one button right here. Right click it, select update heading 4 to match selection. Okay, and remember now this one you, you're going to bring the text up. So I would just write the next paragraph in normal text and bring it up to this line. See how it will do that, uh, it conveys the style to the entire line of text and the entire sentence that follows it. So you need to manually turn that back. There you go. So this is what your heading level 4 will look like. It does have to be in title case and I didn't do that for this one. So I'm doing it now. <laughs> okay, did I do it for 3? Yes, I did. Okay, so there's our heading level 4, and now uh, here's a heading level 5, and this one is going to follow the same style as heading level 4, except for it's italicized, okay? So let's create a new style so you can see that process. Do the drop-down menu, create a style, and I would call this heading 5 APA. Good. Okay, again, now you may go through the same process where you bring this line of text up and it takes the, because it's on this line, it takes that stylization. So you'll have to manually fix it so it's not bold or italic. Okay. 
All right, there's probably a way around that that I don't know of, but in the meantime, we'll just do it this way. It's not that difficult. Okay. All right, so now we have all of our different heading levels that we'd want for this paper. And let's just make sure, did I, I didn't ident, uh, indent this yet, so I'll just show you how to do that. Just tab over, and now you need to modify it again. So find that heading level four, or heading level five, I guess this one was. Was it five? Yep, here it is, right here. Okay. And select update heading five APA to match selection there. Oops, and once again, go back down, and you have to manually adjust so that it's not going to be uh, bold or italic. Just take off those treatments. There you go. Okay, so now you have all of your headings, heading one, two, three, four, and five, all in APA. So let's just say you want to save this window. So the next time you open a Word document, all of those heading styles are already embedded in the paragraph style dialog box. I thought you could do it from the Paragraph Styles dialog box. It turns out you can't. You can have to do it from the Design tab. So go over here on your home ribbon and select the Design tab. And then drop down this menu here. And you're going to say Save as a new style set. OK, and you can call it the APA style set <laughs> or whatever you want. OK, Save. Okay, now if I close this document, say, say I've saved it. Uh, okay, that, that, that's good. Just example so I can, okay, whatever. Um, all right, now I'm going to close this document. And I'm going to open a new document. Let me just drag something down here so you can see what I'm doing. File, open. Whoops, file new. I'm sorry. Blank document. Okay. And I'll drag it into my window here. Now, you don't see those headings, right? They're gone. <laughs> so how can you get them back? Well, you would go to that design tab again and open this window. And you look in this section right here that says custom. Look for the, These are some other ones that I've already made today. Look for the one that says APA 7th style. APA styled headers. What's this one? APA style set. They're both the same. I made this one earlier. For the sake of this video, I'm going to use this one. And okay, now go to your uh, home tab and look. There's your headings right there. Okay, so that's a way that you can save your your paragraph styles from document to document. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.